We are live. We're live? Yeah. Do We're it. back. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> dude, it's so Todd Chrisley. Uh, cringe. <laughs> we have the uh, sex symbol, Quint Dad himself, in studio today. Yeah, we do. First ever podcast in the podcast studio. And we got Adam here just because he has all the lighting, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Brought a couple of my cool toys. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. He's the worst person to have the buttons. How many effects do you have in on Nine, but we're working on 39. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to have a ton of them. Yep. So, uh, yeah, so this is our first one in the uh, in the old podcast studio. So there's a lot, there's a lot happening here. <laughs> what? <laughs> so... One, our uh, our backdrop will be in next week. So hopefully when we record next week, we'll have our backdrop with our logo. But, uh, you know, this is a serious podcast. We figured we'd get Adam on to really help bring some professionalism to this thing. Adam did bring some professionalism. Brought <laughs> toys. He, he did. did. <laughs> I mean, I, people can't see it yet, but this is, I, I feel I feel like a movie star. Yeah. I feel like I did, like I should have been my whole life. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> Thank you. This Adam. is what I needed. My parents couldn't give it to me, but you did. <laughs> Adam will make all your dreams come true. He did. I will. He did. I'll make you look beautiful. You, he, I feel beautiful. We got about forty thousand other worth of the stuff in here, <laughs> <laughs> and four dollars of it you and I own. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> cheap stuff's ours. <laughs> Dude, this table. That's about it. Yeah. That's about it. He did. He did build this table. What you think, Buzz? I, I know it's nice. It's, it was a quick, quick little. Uh, it smells fresh. It's definitely, I don't know if it's dry yet. I mean, that's kind of, like, yeah. I don't, mean, don't get your new shirt. It's, it's like fly paper. <laughs> no kidding. I just finished it last night. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we told Adam we'd get him on once we got the podcast studio up. And so, I mean, he was super excited. He called me every day, like, is it ready yet? And, it's, you know, <laughs> he's waiting. He was waiting outside my yeah, yeah. driveway, like every day, like, no, not today, Adam, not today, <laughs> just tomorrow. I'll have my people call your people. Yeah. So, so I called Danielle and said, hey, it's ready. Let dad him know. Yeah. So, so now that you can take your trailer out of here when you leave. Today. Yeah. <laughs> well, this will be the second one you've done in a week. It will be. Yeah, today. Um, actually, like over this whole year, we've, we've had so many requests for podcasts and um, we just haven't had the mental capacity and the space to do it. Um, my office has been a wreck. We've we've been moving Grace and B Studio and everything, and so like uh, my office became like this storehouse for like all of like the odds and ends from the from the shop. I mean, and let's not get it wrong; it's a wreck. I've been in there. It was terrible. <laughs> you could barely walk in my office. They got so, boxes of tennis shoes. I mean, that's where all my my podcasting stuff is, and so it just it was not presentable. So we just been telling everybody no. And so finally I was able to like clear out most of it. I mean, I seen your setup and it was still, you had like a two by two for y'all where you couldn't yes. see the whole room. <laughs> yeah. it was, it was I think I haven't watched, I haven't watched the podcast y'all done. I've only listened to it, but, uh, but yeah, I was like, I know them people you did it with the Millers are from, I guess they're from this area. They're from mm-hmm. Tennessee now, or is it Tennessee or Nashville? Yeah. They're in, they're in they're, Nashville. They're in Nashville. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, this would be a little different change of pace for you, Buzz, in that one. So, <laughs> <laughs> yep, boy, will it? <laughs> yeah. Yep, yeah. This, hey, and you're following the Kiki episode, so are you gonna bring a yeah. little, uh, little different dynamic to the show? Big, <laughs> shit, she had a good episode. Big shoes to fill. Did you I listen know, to the was, Kiki was, one yet? Yeah, that's hilarious. It was funny, dude. So, are you gonna sing and yeah. like outdo her? You gotta sing. <laughs> Not gonna sing. <laughs> okay. Well, so. I think she's just sing or dance. I've gave him a dance lesson before, and so we need to see <laughs> if he kept those moves with him. <laughs> you know, the bad thing is, if you ever Google my name, like one of the top videos comes up is the one me and you teaching how to dance. Oh, it's like so embarrassing. Me and my stiff hips. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, move your hips, dude. I <laughs> just don't move. Uh, just don't move. Yeah. Got to got to got to stretch, man. Yeah. No kidding. So. uh yeah, I mean, so just just know coming on here, you're not going to get normal questions. You know, I, I listened to your podcast with the Millers, and it was like, this is all the stuff I knew. You know, it was like everybody knows that stuff. So Vaughn and myself had some questions that are a little different. And then we also have a game we're going to play later. Oh, man. 
Vaughn's excited. So no, I had this. I'm not. So one day I was at Adams and I seen his uh his shot collars for the dog. You know, like the trained dogs. And I was like, oh, okay, we're going to do, when you come on, we're going to wear the shock collars and have you ask us questions. And uh, I'm going to know all the, all my questions are going to be get right and yours are going to be wrong. So I'm, you're the only one getting yeah, shocked. Dale's already pre-screened. All this <laughs> yeah, I guarantee you that's, that's, that's a thing is if I, if I, if I'm not able to micromanage it, then I'm going to get screwed. So I mean, the bad thing is Adam wants to shock me more than you, I swear, but uh, you're more nervous. So it's funny. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm nervous a little bit. I've never done it before, uh, but Adam has been super willing to be able to zap us both. And we're going to put it on our carotid arteries, which is, <laughs> that's a good thing, I would think. Yeah, it's a good thing. Oh, God. <laughs> actually, actually, the first time Dale brought it up, I, uh, I was actually a lot more hesitant. I'm like, man, like, I know what it feels like, and I don't necessarily want that on my neck, but so like, because Dale, Dale was saying, oh, I'm going to just crank it up, crank it up, just hit the mess up. And I just, I don't know if I could do it. Poor guy. He's all think, no do. That's exactly what or, I... Wait, no think, all do. Yep. Yeah, so uh, Vaughn's nervous. I'm, you know, I'm going to be nervous once I put it on. But uh, <laughs> we talked about testing him out, but I was like, no, we're going to... Feel it on yeah, the fly. They have not put these on yet nope. and, and felt these. So, yeah. I do want to verify the number of some. This, this is going to be one of those episodes you definitely want to go and watch on YouTube. Yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> for sure. Just to catch the reactions because, I mean, just listening to it on podcast just isn't going to do it. So, yeah. so, last week we did the Packy Chip Challenge. And of course, Dale comes out all, oh, yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to kill this. It's not, not a big deal. And then it came down to it. And he was literally going to cry. I was nervous. He was nervous. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm this and that. And, you know, I, I actually if, became the badass. It flipped the script. Yeah, you you yeah. were the, I don't know, man. I was nervous. I, I Did know you have, I'm, like, milk on standby and everything? Yes. yes. The bad thing is I <laughs> ate it and I chewed it on the right side. So my whole right side was hot. And I was drinking the chocolate milk and it was going down the left side. So it didn't help me. Yeah. I kept trying to, like. And then Jason, and then Jason took part of the chip and he was just a normal day he's more of a man for sure oh there's no doubt so you didn't even eat the whole chip well no we didn't it was stale it was very stale it was yeah. it stale i mean it, yeah because it's i don't i, I guess did, it's the the heat you're going after it's not necessarily the chip we did uh, we did the pocky yeah, kind of like soak it in the it we did the pocky stuff. half chip challenge it was it was <laughs> look we did the packet chip challenge okay <laughs> and we got through it we're alive and here we are Next episode with Adam Busby. Pretty excited about that. Yep. All right. Let's get to the first question. This this uh. So is this becoming like a theme? Like you're, you're just going to torture yourselves every week? Pretty much. I mean, it's all for the content, <laughs> baby. Uh, I don't know, man. We, you know, we talked about. We're trying to go viral, Adam. That's just the bottom line, okay? So we're trying yeah. to figure out something to. Get us. It's, it's all for the micro content. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. I mean, well, what can we put on Instagram and get a lot of views? Yeah, yeah. dude. This, you know me. This is our life going forward. This is all we got. You're all in. This is it. You're this all in. I live my life by likes on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have Instagram until a few weeks ago, and here we are. I'm looking at the likes, and I love it. <laughs> I love likes. So, so Vaughn, you've been uh, doing some scrolling this week? Oh, man. I've been. Because one of my uh, questions for you is, uh, oh, is, no. a, is a viral song that's going around. So I'm just gonna leave it at I'll that. I'll tell you, shock me now. You got it. You, <laughs> shock, shock me now. <laughs> it's a question about that. Shock me now. I need to scroll more. See, these are the things. Is if I'm not in the social, the social media aspect, then I yeah, I miss out on life, I guess. Dude, I'm telling you, Instagram is a gospel to me. It's just crazy. You know, I have to I have to work some days. I can't. Okay. You know, it's weird. Monday through Friday, it's like I work. So I, I, I try to stay away from it as much as I can. I know it sucks you in though, makes, dude. It makes you an angry person, really. Well, no, no, social me. media does. Yeah. Oh, no. it's it's just, just a, it's an awful, vile place. It just promotes. Uh, I don't know the worst in everyone. I think that, the, and that's exactly why I haven't ever done social media. It's because you see, you don't, you only see the good stuff, really. I yeah. mean, you know, oh my, everybody talks about how. Oh, happy me and Chris are getting bites all posted. 
and, that, and that's the way it needs to be. But 99.9% .9 of all social media is, is the highlights. It's yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. And look what my husband bought me for Christmas. It's like, you know, that's great. I really don't care. Yeah. You know, yeah. your husband didn't buy me anything. Yeah, exactly. Okay? And I was here the whole time. <laughs> I celebrate the Christmas too. So anyway, off of that. Off of that. Let's go to the first question. Dale, I'm, I want you to start out the first question for Adam. Yeah, my, my thing was like, how does it feel to be the audio producer for the top <laughs> growing podcast? Fastest growing this, podcast in yeah. the nation. We're going places. Number one podcast in the land. I feel like I had something to do with that. Yeah. You have. You have. <laughs> yes. it's, you have. You're an integral piece of this that people may hey, not know. I called Adam and said, hey, start this podcast. Uh, I need you to do a lot for me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, here we go. <laughs> hey, we just need hey, how, we need maybe four or five yeah. hours of your time yeah. a week. Yeah. How long am I I'm gonna be on the hook for this? I know. Well, yeah. we talked about that. So Vaughn had some ideas, but like say, we've we're getting we're finally getting stuff to where we can do hopefully do what you've been doing for us. You you, you make it look easy, but like, hey, just set us up to where we can do it. Uh and then Hopefully we can figure it out. And you make it real easy for us, and that's that's what I really like. So <laughs> yeah. I, I, quite frankly, I haven't had to do anything, and I, I enjoy it a lot. Yeah. But yeah, it's a uh, you know if anybody doesn't know, Adam's the uh, he's the audio guy behind the behind the Dale Not Dale podcast does a phenomenal job, and he has been promoted to um, executive audio producer. This is new. This and. Um, <laughs> It is an unpaid position, but there's a lot of room for advancement. I think we're going to move him up, um, which obviously still unpaid. But um, I mean, there's no end. You could be the president. <laughs> yeah. The president of what? The president of the podcast. The, wow. Yeah. Yeah. And you do get a free subscription to our podcast and a free subscription to. And I didn't even have to win a contest. You like didn't. Crystal yeah. did. mm -mm. No, because no. you're actually working for this. Yeah. And we're going to give that to you. And you eat bologna, so I'm sure you can spell it. So I don't want to yeah. ask you that. Do you eat bologna? Eat spam. I, I like spam. That was the very first thing I cooked for Daniel. Was <laughs> a spam sandwich. Lucky her. Fried Damn. it up on a on a uh, cast iron skillet. It's it's pretty good. Make it crispy, real thin and I crispy. I never had it. I've, I've Put it on it. some toast. I mean, I've had spam, but I don't remember it being gross or not. It's good. If you, if you do it right, I mean, you can't just like take it out the hand and take it straight out of the can and it's all slimy oh. and stuff. And that's the only thing I <laughs> 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 That's what I think of when I think of spam. So now you just slice it real thin, like quarter inch, put it on a cast iron, and get it crispy, like bacon. Yeah. It's pretty good. I'm going to try it. Put it on I'm, some toast. I'm going to do that. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're having a spam sandwich. Spam sandwich. Spam sandwich. Episode. Seven, Uncle Adam Busby. Spammy. Yeah. <laughs> Spam time. Spammy. <laughs> Spammy. Uh, yeah, so Adam, re you recently turned 40, dude. I did. What's that been like? I'm still a year behind you, so. I don't know. I think 40 is probably the new 60. That's right. So I'm talking about. <laughs> or 60 is the new 40 or something like that, what, how, however it goes. Orange is the new I don't, black. I don't, I don't feel any different. I mean, 40. I feel like I'm in my prime. I feel like I'm in my prime. You look like you're. I mean, I, I look better than I ever have. Yeah, you, Danielle says so. I and I say so, and, I, and she has LASIK. Yeah, so have I. So, yeah. so have got, I. She's got the eyes of an eagle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh man, I don't know. Forty age is just a number. Did you at do this point? Did you do anything fun for your fortieth? We went to uh, Zion National Park. Oh, in Utah. dude, didn't that place just flood like crazy? Did Zion flood? I know a lot Our of the areas around there. Like Vegas flooded. I mean, that's about no, two I, hours away. Where'd I just go? Well, that was there. No, you. Yeah, it must have been Zion. Because somebody called me and said, dude, that place your brother-in-law just went to is flood. I, I could have swore somebody told me that. So, hmm. yeah, how was that? I mean, the pictures were awesome. I just did some hiking and stuff. We did. We went to, there's two hikes that I really wanted to do was the Narrows. And it's just like a, it's a hike through the water. Like you're going through like probably 40, 50 degree water the whole time. Like most of the time it's like ankle deep, but it gets up to like waist deep water. And you just have, you're just walking through a canyon and you have just sheer walls on either side of you. And it's just beautiful. I mean, it's, it's unreal. The, the and, pictures you posted were pretty incredible. And it gets better as you go. Like the deeper you go, 
the better it gets. That's what yeah. I've always said that. <laughs> 40, <laughs> 40 degree water up to your hips? At, at times, yeah. Ooh. But the deeper you go, the better. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> we, we go way, way off track here. We're not going to. We're not going. Oh, you're not going to bait me in, Dale Mills. You're not going to bait me in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looked like a fun trip. We, uh, I know we couldn't go. We had something going on. We couldn't go to. Oh, we were uh, we were at World Series for baseball. Yeah, yeah, you are in Florida because we missed it, man. I, I would have liked to have gone uh, just because it'd be something totally different. Yeah. I mean, we'd never done. It's definitely a bu- bucket list type place, and uh, so we we did the Narrows. The next day, we wanted to hike Angels Landing, and so Angels Landing, it's one of the most dangerous hikes in the country, actually. Because there's a chain section on there that bonds out. You pretty much have to hold on to a chain, and uh, it's like a sheer knife edge at some points where you just straight drop. And um, but a lot of people want to do it, and so they have to. They have a lottery system to be able to get on that hike, and so the 24 hours before you have to enter the lottery, and then you won't know until like 3 p.m. the day before whether or not you're going to hike on it. Do you have a certain time you got to go to? Like it's like reserved? No. Okay, no, you, just you, go, just, you just go. Okay. Yeah, you just have like a printout or whatever, and you just show the park ranger that's like at the base of the hike. And so, um, you know, we all entered at like midnight the night before. We're like, yeah, we're all going to try to go on this hike. There was, you know, quite a few of us. And somehow there was like a glitch in their system. And so while we were hiking the Narrows, which we have no service in there, so there's no way we're, we're going to get the alert until we're like leaving the park that day. Whether And so we won't even know if we're doing that hike until like we're leaving the park. And all of a sudden, so we did the Narrows, we're on the tour bus on the way out, and everybody starts getting notifications. And we looked at our phones, and all the notifications were saying, well, Unfortunately, there was this glitch in the system, and every entry between midnight and 10 a.m. was thrown out. And so that's pretty much all, everyone. And so we're like, man, we're not going to get to do this hike. And I said, screw it. It's my 40th birthday. We're going to do it anyway. And so the next day, we just went and stormed the gates. We just went. And I said, you know, I'm just going to I'm going to show this email. And I know that the park ranger probably has something that he knows about it. So we're just going to get up there and and we'll try to just sweet talk the park ranger. And so on our way up the, the summit, um, we passed two park rangers and they were coming down. And so, uh, he just looked at me. I said, can we, can we go up? And he said, y'all make sure you're drinking plenty of water. It's super hot out today and have fun. There's, there's no one up there because I, apparently because of the glitch the day before. Nobody got the alerts. Yeah, every, everybody just gave up and said, oh, we're not going to be able to do it. So nobody went. And so literally we had the entire Angels Landing to ourselves, And we had, the, we had the summit. Like there was not a single person up there. It was, it was super cool. I mean, it couldn't have been a better scenario. I'm assuming you're not afraid of heights. Yeah. Oh. I'm not afraid of heights either. I don't, no. I done hot air balloon. It was pretty cool. No. Didn't bother me one bit. It would bother me. I was yeah. I was freaking people out because like I would I would literally stand right on. Yeah, the he does like weird stuff like that. It does not bother me whatsoever. Danielle got a she got tree sick when we were at Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> tree, <laughs> sick. tree sick. I kept telling her I had these on all the zip line. Yeah, I told her she needed to get her tree legs. That was, <laughs> dude, she was <laughs> she was pissed because she was cry, like she got like vertigo or something. Yeah, when we were filming in Hawaii. Doing a zip line through it was awesome. And uh and I was just jacking with her even more and she was yeah. She really wasn't having it. <laughs> like, what do you expect? Yeah. You're tree sick. Yeah. It happens. Dude, I said a few of those and those guys, they never hurt. They're like, Oh, I'm using that. I'm like, Yeah. How do you not know this stuff? Like, uh-huh. yeah. I've got the right material for the zip line guys. It's hereditary. <laughs> tree sickness. <laughs> <laughs> so um how does it feel to be the brother in law of the world's greatest uncle? <laughs> I don't really know how to answer that. Um, Danielle answered it. She did? Like a she champ. She did. Wow. I asked Danielle, I said, did you know we met 22 years ago that I was going to be the world's greatest uncle to your kids? <laughs> She's like, yep. <laughs> it's definitely the world's funnest <laughs> uncle, for sure. I mean, they yeah. you make them laugh and and just cut up and, it was and fun. they just do whatever they want. That's a, that's a good answer. You take You take your shots, though. 
No, dude, I get bullied by them kids. Yeah, I mean, I've, I, I've got I've got six little bullies at home. Oh, for dude. sure. Well, you deserve it. And they, but he has Blake to offset him because Blake's like the sweetest little girl. That Blake's like my ride or die. She'll laugh at anything I say. So Blake's my my number one because <laughs> she she laughs at everything. Like I'm I'm starting to realize like. All of the sarcasm and picking on the kids, like this whole, you know, seven years that they've been born, is starting to come back on me because they're doing it to me. Dude. They're doing it to you. They're doing it to each other. They call it's, me Uncle Doofus. It's starting to get annoying. Yeah. <laughs> because they're well, a bunch of little jerks. There's so many of them. There is. Yeah. Dude. You get it from every angle. They, yeah. And they hit you. And man, they're, I told them, I said, hey, you ever want to check yourself? Go get in front of them little girls. They will tell you everything wrong with you. Make you feel little. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> we need Vaughn's not a big fan of kids. We need to bring Vaughn around him. Man, they would eat him alive. So I, I, when I say I'm not a big, I'm not. I never wanted a whole lot of kids. I did, actually, as a matter of fact, I wanted no kids. My wife wanted two kids. We settled on one. And now I, I you know, he's my favorite kid. <laughs> he's my least favorite kid. Mm-hmm. So I got that going for me. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, I like kids as long as I can give them away. And if I can walk away from them, I don't have to watch them, feed them, take care of them, yeah. things like that. Ours are pretty hard to, to give away. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't know. I can find anything it's on a, the internet. It's a pretty big. Well, Adam didn't want a bunch of kids either. Package. Danielle did. And then you see who won that I, I wanted Which, one and, and <laughs> spoil it. And then and then as we started going along, I mean, Blake was awesome. She was an easy kid. And I'm like, okay, like three. She was super like easy. three, and then that's my max. And then we went from one to six. So. <laughs> And you water. Just, you just <laughs> roll with the punches. Dude, yeah. I love that. I love that. Yep. So who's Dale's biggest fan? <laughs> Who is Dale's biggest fan? He's answered this before. Remember we did that uh, interview on the tape? Well, 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 I mean, it could be if an, uh, an opinion of I know, it was funny. somebody else. Dale's biggest fan. <laughs> I know the answer. I I figured you would answer it already, but and maybe you're thinking too much into I probably it. Probably am thinking about it. It's Dale. Yeah. Dale's, <laughs> Dale's Dale, biggest fan. Oh, yeah. I've definitely said that in interviews before. <laughs> I was trying to eliminate Dale from it. Yeah, I think it. Oh, oh, I love that. I love that. Hey, dude. You got to love yourself. Dale is Dale's biggest fan. I am. Yeah. That's what yeah. I, I have that one clip I sent Vaughn. Adam's like, uh, Nobody likes Dale's TikTok videos more than Dale likes Dale's TikTok videos. <laughs> yeah, dude, I watch them all the time. I'm like, true. dude, that dude's funny. <laughs> <laughs> really? Hey, I could be friends with this guy. Crystal would get so mad because, like, you know, Out Daughter would come on and we'd watch it. And, like, you you know, we, we'd live tweet through the show. Yeah. So, dude, it's hard to watch it. Like, you're just watching. I'm, you're just listening and then just tweeting. So, you're not mm-hmm. really watching. So, then I'll go back and rewatch them and I just fast forward to my parts. <laughs> <laughs> Because, <laughs> well, because I was like, "What about that whole scene?" I was with my sisters. Yeah, I was like, whatever. "Yeah, nobody wants to see you, Crystal." <laughs> and so I would just because the funny thing was because, dude, when we film, we film so much it kind of is a blur. So we watch it, and it's like I, yeah, and I say so much BS, like I forget what I say. So I'm yeah. watching it live. I'm like, "Oh my god!" That's that's what's great about Dale. Funny, I mean, like all of the because Dale's so witty. It's just the wittiness and just. The sarcasm, just in the moment, like Dale isn't one to be like, you know, put on the spot, right? And like ask him a question and just oh, like no. him to give you something funny, like he has to like kind of rift and roll with it. Yeah. And so, I mean, that's what makes him perfect for just coming along with us on, on different scenes oh, and places, and just you never know what you're gonna get out of. Him. I didn't. Yeah, I was just would say stuff, and then a lot of times they you just hear it in the background without yeah. seeing me. And we all, dude, it's so funny. <laughs> God bless him. Dude, I was like, man, that guy's funny. <laughs> yeah, the biggest fan. Yeah, hey, no doubt, man. So. I'll have this one. You did, You have this question. I wrote this one down. Yes, you do. You did hear when I had on Danielle, I asked her if she felt inferior to the Octomom. And she was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so our question to you was, who would win in a fight between you and John Gosselin? From, from John and Kate plus eight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually setting this up from Rough and Rowdy 2023. We are. <laughs> we are. A few oh, words of Von Dutch, I think Buzz can take him. Dude, I used to tell my, I used to tell my friends my dad owned Von Dutch. 
<laughs> they believe me. They totally believe me. They're like, really? I thought he was a football coach. Nuh-uh. He's no. a designer. Yeah. <laughs> maker of hats. A maker yeah. of hats. Right. Man, I don't, I don't think. I mean, he's older. Dude, dude. He is dude. Dude, definitely older. You're in shape. you got bigger I'm, biceps, for I'm sure. in a lot better shape. Yep. I mean, at the, at but the very least, hey, I could he like, had to deal with his wife for a long time. He did. I, I mean, you, I got to toughen the guy up. Like the ultimate Karen, dude. I mean, they I, called the haircut after her the Karen. Yeah, but did they? <laughs> yeah, that's like, the, that's like this. Can I speak to your manager? Haircut they were talking about <laughs> <laughs> <The> memes. <laughs> yeah, it was on every meme. <laughs> They had a good run, though. I, I, I seriously it think was, we could probably get a boxing match to set up, though. I mean, <laughs> you know. We're just going to keep manifesting it. it just, see, <laughs> yeah, and I was like, it would, all, all we have to do, we, we have the good base here because yeah. all we have to do is get Adam to say yes. I'm a, you know, I'm a lover, <laughs> not a fighter. Uh, Adam has to say yes. John's desperate. We, we know he'll get in there. A little bit of fame. Get, cut. He's like a DJ or something now. Yeah, and he's, think so. he's about to be a boxer. Yeah. And that's coming. Yeah, that is coming. <laughs> That's coming. We can build a boxing ring out of the, out of the studio, and charge charge some entry fees. No, yeah, dude, is... we'll leave all the stuff in here for weapons. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so stupid. Adam just hit John head with a Dyson. <laughs> <laughs> Look at John mopping up Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, dude, I, lo- I love that. Oh, he went he, he went with bleach to the brain. <laughs> Oh, who's your favorite kid? <laughs> <laughs> just, get, just get right into it. Oh. Got to pick. I'll pass on that one. Danielle gave some BS answer. I was like, okay, we know. Danielle, then, said, Danielle said Blake. No, he, she, she, she gave her a whole little spiel about every one of them. He's like, okay, so Blake's your favorite kid. And she's like, <laughs> all right, Blake again. <laughs> That's with a Y, right? Yeah, I think it is. Yep. Yeah, it is. Blake, yep. Okay. Blake's your favorite kid. All right. All right. Blake, next. Has, Blake has probably the best laugh. I'll give her that. She does. She, you know, she's always in a good know, mood Olivia, every time Olivia's I'm around her. Pretty good. She's Riley's always got in a good mood. laugh, too. Riley's got a good laugh. Parker's right. got, I don't know. Like, they all have great laughs. They're, dude. We I'm need to get them to all have like a laugh contest. But, you for, know, for multiple seasons of the TV show, so after like the opening credits, they would always have a kid laugh. And it, I think it, it changed per season. They would actually like ISO one of the kids laughs and put it in there. Yeah. And I think one of the best ones was Olivia's. Really? Yeah. Well, they're all, they're like, it's, it's funny cause I have, you know, I have customers and friends and people that always, they're always asking about the show. Just like how, you know, and they want to kind of know what's going on. And they ask about the girls and it's like, so they're, man, they're, they're all so different. Uh, and they're funny all in their own way. And so it's, it's just wild to have been around them growing up and seeing how they become, and uh, they're just they're fun to be around. It's just they're wild, man. It's a it's a it's an experience to be around them all because <laughs> it's so they're, they're like bees. They just keep coming. Yeah, especially whenever they're comfortable around you, for sure. Yeah, I mean, like new people, like they'll just stare you down for a little bit until they're, you warm up to them. But their favorite thing for me is I grab one of them. They like take control, so I grab them. They're, I get behind them, we get their hands, and then we go fight the other ones. We go <laughs> slap them and hit them. <laughs> hey, we're doing that in the church foyer, just full on brawl. <laughs> and they're like, "My turn." I get one up, My turn. dude. <laughs> then I like kick them. Hazel, me like, turn, me oh, turn, dude. Me turn. You're the, why are you so rough? I'm. I'm just. You're I've just, always been rough with kids. Just an animal. I'm always been like that. I don't know. We're just. Maybe it's a Louisiana thing. That's, just, that's yeah. just how I was growing up. I, I've always been like that. There's oh. studies have shown it's like it's it's better to be like roughhouse with your kids. It builds them. It builds confidence. Oh man, Bronson's yeah. be confident as heck. He is. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Kaiser's you not, like Kaiser's gonna to, have no to, confidence. I think there's like a breaking point <laughs> that you've crossed. Cross. <laughs> yeah, with Bronson, he's into abuse. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> now, now, now he just like caves and cries. Yeah. <laughs> Poor kid. Yeah. Yeah. Poor kid. You're not supposed to roughhouse with him, and they have to call nine one one. I mean, that's like kind of illegal. It's not not roughhouse him and berate him. Right. Yeah. 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 It's just like kind of yeah, bully put, him a little bit. Put him on the level. Adam, have you ever photoshopped a picture of your bicep? <laughs> <laughs> nobody's gonna know. <laughs> I mean, nobody's nobody's gonna know. Like made it bigger. Yeah. Just or maybe cut her, tanner. Yeah, extra, extra vein. Have you done anything to vein. enhance your bicep in a picture? I mean, I manipulate the uh, colors, and uh, I can make them. 
Dude, we need to do. I mean, look, look at go to any bodybuilding competition and you look at look at what they're doing to themselves. I mean, they make themselves as dark as possible because it just makes everything look better. And so, like, whenever I edit a photo, I typically will play with the oranges, and you can make it darker and just look better. So you haven't ever made it more if you cut can't, or larger? No, we've determined that's a lie. <laughs> that's a lie. <laughs> Prove it. Show me, show me which one. We're, yeah, we're, we're actually, that chair is a, a lot of tractor chair. It, it is. We got it Jerry is. Springer for the next episode. It is. It is. It is definitely a lot. Yeah. That's awesome. It's funny. I'll have people call me and was like, dude, your freaking brother-in-law is freaking swollen. <laughs> I'm like, dude, he's, his arms are massive. Yeah, and, they, and, they, so. and his fingers touch the ground when he walks. Yeah. Where do you go work out at? Your house? No. Or do you like go to the gym? No, I can't. I can't work out at my house. No, just way too many distractions and kids will constantly come in and then there's just way too many projects. Like, so I'll be like trying to lift and then you're just looking around at stuff to get started on or oh, whatever. Yeah. And so, um, I typically will work out at either anytime fitness or, uh, you still go to the fitness center? No, no I don't go to the fitness center anymore. Okay. Yeah. Um, we dropped that in 20, 2020. And then I'm actually looking at going to, uh, this world gym over here in uh, Texas City. It's like 100,000 square feet. Dude, gym. it's huge. Dude. And uh, they've converted this entire, like, it used to be a Sears, and they've converted it into a, a gym, and it's unreal. I haven't seen it yet, but that guy that he's talking about that, like, start, like mm-hmm. does all that. The Caroms. Yeah, yeah Caroms. He's yeah. buddies with him. Uh, I met him at, like, one of the Quint's birthday parties at the uh, Tex place. Yeah. And, uh, dude. He's all about big. Yeah. I want the largest for everything. Yeah. He wants the best, biggest, yes. whatever. And <laughs> the I mean, PED he, palace. The thing is, like, he, he, <laughs> follow, right. he, he follows it. through. I mean, it's impressive. I went and uh, I went mm. toward it a couple weeks ago and I was just blown away by everything he had there. And so um, it's He's, a little bit more of a drive. It's probably about a 15 minute drive or so. And so, like, you know, on days where I don't have a whole lot going on, I want to try to go over there. And, I want to, I didn't go check out with you one day. Just to see it, it's, I did see that. I did see you just took the girls to text. They got some new uh, mini mini carts. Go, they dude, call them the cadet carts. They got little mini go like mini go carts for well, like girls. Right whenever that place first opened, they just had like the the big carts that everybody uses. The go carts. Hey, and real quick at the Quint's birthday party, since Adam knows the guy, he took the like governs off, <laughs> and me, him, and Nick got to race them. Dude, yeah, they're fast. They're fast. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been there. You can like it's cool. Them. Kyle's just probably been with birthday party oh, i guarantee it it's pretty cool it's huge yeah and they're about to close it down and completely redo the whole place again yeah good because uh he he rushed a few things you know tail into covid just trying to be one of the first first businesses of that sort open yeah. after covid and uh so he beat a lot of people with the punch but you know you kind of you know cut some corners just to get that get that opened and so now you know that they've been open for a while or whatever he wants to close it back down and then redo it all and it's going to be more like kind of like a dave and busters um bring it a little bit more to like the older crowd like more like sports bars like main t- event tvs everywhere an adult daycare but also you know have all the kids stuff too, the trampoline park and everything and so it'll be it'll be really cool that's awesome Dude, the place is huge and it was even, it was big before it was the largest in the world altitude, right? Yeah. And then he rebranded it. He's got so much going on. I mean, he. I don't even know if I can talk about the other stuff. Um, nobody's gonna know. Yeah. yeah. Gonna nobody. Li- nobody watches. We're not gonna tell anybody. No. We're not gonna yeah. tell anybody. I mean, I mean, this is closed circuit. It. Yeah. This is, I don't know if that was privileged information that he gave me. This is more of a like confessional. Some other, some other projects. It's all good. Huge stuff coming in the area, though. Schmexus City. Whenever it's time, we'll come back and we'll drop the news here. Mm-hmm. You heard it here first, folks. We're like uh, Adam Schefter of uh, Cram Enterprises. Maybe you can do like a live remote from the location. Dude. I could probably, probably make that happen. I think we need to. As long as you bring the lighting, dude, we're there. Yeah. <laughs> you put us in the lights, we'll go. Hey, one thing I wanted to talk about is uh, – we were talking about we we sat down yesterday trying to write down things and I said oh I gotta talk about it when I first met Adam and his his Fast and Furious car <laughs> and oh, guess what this dude, dude he was a Fast Furious guy too you you had oh, one I was he you lived too Fast and Furious I did I did 
That yeah. was, I mean, at that time, that was the height. Uh, uh, yeah, I get it. Yeah. It was like right after the first Fast and Furious movie. So like everybody was into that. Yeah. He had a white. And what kind of car was it? It was a Honda Civic. Yeah, that's what I had, a white Honda Civic, a 2000. Did you have white rims? I did not, know. He did. He was white, cooler. White wheels, motor swap. Um, I had a Mazda 626. I put like 30 grand into just the suspension on it. I mean, it was... Yeah. It was a fun car to drive for My, sure. Mine was all show, no go. Really? I did have nitrous on it. Um, really? But that was just like to, that was just, you know, to kind of jack around. Um, mm-hmm. But funny, funny story about the Fast and the Furious age, Furious age. So right around the time that, um, uh, what was it? Oh, the, the song So Fresh and So Clean. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that song had just came out around that time, and it was like a really popular song. So I had this Honda Civic, and you know, I, and same thing. Put a whole, you know, you put thirty grand into a five thousand dollar car yeah. and, and whatever. Um, so I had black and white leather seats put in this car, you know, custom um, and embroidered in it. It said "So fresh, so clean," which. <laughs> that that's such like the immature oh thing. I, I would still do that today because I haven't grown Jason's out of it. shaking his head. Oh no, it, it gets. Oh no, the story gets better. So I, I I love this car. Every in quite honestly, it looked good. Everybody liked it. It was like you know, it was one of those. Oh, did you hear about Vaughn's car? Blah 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 blah. For kids that didn't know me down the road. Well, anyway, I went to Dallas one. Because you had all that money from you know modeling. Yeah, hey, you know that I you're just I. <laughs> There, there was a little bit of that. <laughs> I mean, let's, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Yeah, I had a little bit of uh, expendable income to throw into a Honda Civic. But um, I went to, I was actually at a photo shoot in Dallas. And I go to, and I won't ever forget, I was at uh, off North Central Expressway at, um, it was like a Radisson. It was like a nice Radisson. Parked it in valet parking. And before I got to valet, I was driving down the road and I actually had a friend with me and uh, the guy was looking in. I had one of those fold out screens. It was it was a cool car. Right. So the guy's looking over there and I said, man, I got this weird feeling that this car is going to get stolen. tonight." (laughs) So I parked it in valet. I'm like, it's not going to get stolen out of valet. So we wake up the next morning. I walk outside and in the spot in valet where my car was, was the the transformer for the um, security system. And that was all that was there. (laughs) And I'm like, car got stolen, right? So to make matters worse, we call, you know, cops come, blah, blah, blah. A couple days go by. We get a call from the cops. Hey, we recovered the vehicle. I'm like, oh, thank God. There is literally nothing left of this car. They stripped every possible thing you could possibly think of off this car. And to my dismay... On the on the hood of the car, they did not take the hood of the car. In Sharpie marker, they wrote so fresh. It clean. said, "Still fresh, still clean?" Question mark. Love, Rolando. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, d- left his calling card. D- I mean, just <laughs> the. We gotta find this guy on Instagram, dude. He, oh, I mean, he like shattered my dreams, like right there. It, he made you feel like. More of a douche. He really <laughs> did. He really did. He really did. He really did. And it stole all my stuff and just oh, blew my ego. Yeah. So still fresh, still clean. That's awesome. <laughs> and I would love to have that car back still to this day. I just want to hang out with Rolando. I would I do too. Like, see, I'm over it now. Like I want to find Rolando and I'm gonna be friends with him. Because I mean anybody that can strip a car down to what it was left to it, they are talented. Dude, me and Adam, so whenever uh the house that Danielle and uh, Crystal and Ashley grew up in it had like a like half the let's say the length of the roads a half a mile or in between that is like a, a sharp S turn and dude me and uh, one day I was in his car and he took that S turn like ninety five miles an hour never hit the brakes I don't even it, dude it, I don't know how we didn't die that car handled like it was on rails it just it freaking so hugged the ground time. and I'm probably screaming like a girl and Buzz is laughing I was like it was wild dude. <laughs> I drove a little piece of crap, 626 Mazda. <laughs> I put new oil in it, and I was like, good to go. Once put new oil. You didn't have to change oil because it kept leaking out. You just put new oh, oil dude. in it. No, dude, it was bad. It didn't have a heater in it. When me and Chris were dating in the wintertime, she'd have a blanket in the front seat. Uh, heaters are overrated. Yeah, no. It's AC. Did it have AC? Yeah, AC worked. You have to no, have AC. AC. But when the AC, every, time, every once in a while it didn't work, but the AC didn't work, the windshield wipers wouldn't work. 
So one day I'm getting there, I get in the car, and we go to take off, and it's pouring. And I was like, oh, shit, it's hot in here. AC wasn't working. B- wipers weren't working. It was a, it was a nightmare. <laughs> Almost killed us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Good old Tim, buddy. Hooked me up. Jeez. Um, it was a good car, though. Moving on. So Danielle actually reached out to Dale. I say, is it, this is your question. Or is it my question? Is this my question or your question? I don't know. I don't remember. Well, once you wanted, she wanted us to ask you the question we asked her. How's it feel to be married to a sex symbol? Yeah. She was like, she was all like provocative about buzz. <laughs> She's like, you better ask Adam this question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm truly am blessed. I mean, she's a she's a beautiful woman. The Clint mom. It's funny, you know. I I love the reactions from other people for sure. I mean, like it's it's awesome to see. Like whenever we're just walking around, they're like, "Who's whose kids are? Who's the mom?" I know. And everybody sees Danielle, and they're like, "Whoa!" Like, so I, I, I love seeing that reaction out of her. And uh, my favorite my favorite thing to do is whenever she posts like on they're on like Instagram a picture like at the beat, you know, Dan is in a bikini or something like that. And then I'll comment on there. She's had work done. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> just, just stirring the pot. I'm like, oh, great. Here we go. Now, I gotta, like, now I got to moderate comments Daniel's for like, three You're days. a bastard, man. <laughs> all, all the Quins have different dads. Yeah, I'd say that too. Or I don't know how many times like I've had to text Dale. I'm like, dude, you know I have to delete that, right? <laughs> because it's just going to start like this whole firestorm. And oh, it's so all, fun. All those Instagram moms that get on there and they just like to bash each other. Oh, man. They just, so, they love to tear people down. And oh so we, gosh. I troll them, which is fun for me. Like, he, that's what I told, I told him before, like back in the day, man, like early on, we we do on Twitter. And not a lot of people come at me, but when they do, it's funny. I'll retweet it. Like, but they would say stuff about Adam and I would retweet it. And I was like, dude, quit doing it. <laughs> 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 they talk shit about Adam and I'd retweet it. I'm like, yeah, girl, or something. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you got to stop. <laughs> stop. Yeah. Uh, the funny thing is, like, I'll say, like, troll comments on their pictures just because they know it's me. And then I'll have people come at me like they don't know it's yeah. I'm yeah. Uncle Dale. And dude, they get mad, man. It is funny. And then I just keep going. There's with people out there that don't know your Uncle Dale. I just. Yeah. It's shocking. Or they, or they just don't pay attention to like they the don't. screen name or whatever. And so they'll just like read the comment. Dude. And just get, they just get so mad. And then I and just keep just, going. They'll respond without even looking who it was. And yeah. I keep going with them. It's so fun. They'll, that's what, they'll that's light Dale up. That's what <laughs> that's what Tom does for me on MySpace. He's always he's always <laughs> defending me. Uh Daniel did want me to ask you, she goes, ask Adam what's our safe word. <laughs> she did. She did. I, I thought it was a little weird, but I'm in. I said I said, well, what is it? And she's like I don't remember, but we talked about something in Vegas. <laughs> what? Yeah. You're totally making all I this I swear out. to God. It's true. This is true. I swear. Uh, we'll call her on three-way right now. Danielle. I told you. I called. I said yesterday. I texted her. I said, hey, are you with Adam? She's like, I am right now. I said, okay, when you leave Adam, call me. She's like, okay. So she called me. All right, what's up? So I need to, like, you have some kind of question I can ask Buzz, you know, whatever. She's like, oh, let me think. She goes, ask him, ask him uh, what's our safe word. <laughs> <laughs> Oddly enough, it's so fresh so clean. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> good, job, Rol- <laughs> good job, good job, Rolando. Uh huh. I knew uh, it. I, I knew it. Adam goes by Rolando. Rolando. Mm-hmm. My name is Rolando. Dance with me. Oh man. So I think we're dude. We're there. We're to the time. We're to the time. I'm sweaty. It. I am too. My right <laughs> armpit. So it, it's time for the. Uh, Shocking questions with Adam Busby. Yeah. Do the oh horn. Oh, my gosh. Shocking questions with Adam Busby. <laughs> All right. Fun new segment. Oh, my gosh. Ugh. So they got their opportunity to ask a few questions. But you now this, it's... Like, you put this on your neck. Now it's my turn. Oh, my God. And this there's, comes this comes with stakes, guys. There's, Let me see what level you got this on. Hmm? There, there is no way oh, that it's a level doc- one. There's no way that a doctor is going to approve this. Put it on four. No, his is on five. Put it on four. Why, why do I have to see that? And this is this is why. Yeah, this is this is why I don't like doing this stuff. I think for solidarity of the show, if no, I get it on the wrong, front. Oh, you right don't on the jugular. You don't want to put it on your spinal cord. I don't think either way is going to be safe. <laughs> nope, you get you, underneath your thing. I don't know if. I, what was that noise? <laughs> 
<laughs> he just went up a level. Hey, dude, so, it, you just shocked me. It only it only makes that noise if you put it on level ten. I think for solidarity, if if I get the question wrong, he should be shocked too, just because we're co-hosts. No, that's not how that should be. I don't think this. Is I can only fit shock. I, I can only shock one at a time. So. It's a little toggle. You think five is where we should be at? I, I, I forget which is which, though. I think probably two is probably better, just to just for fun, you know. Oh, I don't God. think this will even fit around my neck. See, oh, <laughs> don't do one. Don't. Let me put it on <laughs> first. Yeah, I, see, <laughs> see, he's always big, he always big dogs it. Oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, and then it comes down to it, and he and he cries. I don't. I like the sound tough. Then actually, be tough. It's, I don't think it's gonna fit around my neck. Yeah, it will. It is. Yeah, it will. <laughs> Dude, it, hit it. No, don't. <laughs> don't do it. No. Dude. Hold on. That's too tight. Ah! <laughs> I got it. I got my skin stuck in it. There we go. Oh, dude, this is on there tight. Did you feel that? No. Okay. No, dude. I feel like it's such in a bad spot. Okay. And yours is all loose. Oh! That's just a vibrate. Oh, let's do that. It vibrates oh. easy. Let's see. Dude, this thing is tight on me. I need to tighten mine up. I mean, I, I got obviously a big neck. <laughs> I'm sitting here like He's so nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous too. And that right armpit is like dripping. Dude, it is. Is this gonna ruin my, Adam, All right. my Adam's apple? This is where I, uh, I, feel, I feel like this is my like be I like have to hold it with my hand on my neck. Mine's like, on me. Like this is tight, tight. Okay. I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna hold it with my hand. No, 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 no. 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 This is hands free. Dude, can, it is when I say tight, like I'm am I turning red? No, I'm turning you're red. You're not. I am. I'm losing, I'm losing air. Okay. All right. I'm nervous. Oh, wait. I got to get questions out. Oh, no. Okay. Let's see here. Spell baloney. <laughs> yeah. Vaughn, spell baloney. Oh, we didn't ask one question. We need to, Why are you doing that? Answer this question while you're doing that, Buzz. Okay. Since we asked Crystal this question, we're like, okay. Ashley and Crystal hanging off a cliff. You can only save one. <laughs> Which one are you save? You can be Ashley honest. or Crystal? Yeah. They're both hanging there. Why would why would I drop my sis, sister in laws off a cliff? I mean, well, you have to. You can only pick one. Crystal dropped Ashley like nothing. Yeah, she picked, Crystal didn't even care. She was like, she, "Oh, I'm dropping Ashley." Well, Ashley already <laughs> fell. <laughs> so you got to pick one though. Have you ever seen the movie The Good Son? It's kind of like that, but with sisters. Dude, that was a crazy movie. Yeah, with Elijah Wood. Yeah, Macaulay Culkin. and Macaulay Culkin. Oh man. Okay, let's I'll, some... I'll take a pass on that. All right, I'll drop them both. Yeah. This dog collar. Put it to the front. It. it, it my Adam's apple is too tight for it. This, this isn't supposed to. it a little bit. Hold on. This isn't supposed to go on on humans. Believe it or not. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Uh, oh, this is a human collar. Yeah. These are human I think collars. you trained your wife. They, this is okay. how they. This is how they use. They use these in nursing homes. Oh yeah, we still have. In nursing here. homes. <laughs> Do you want me to undo it? Nope. Tighten it up, Buzz. And I like clipped. I like. Oh, there we go, too. <laughs> Thanks, man. Look at that. You can do everything. Buzz, take a selfie of us, us three. Take, put, use your phone real quick. Oh, he was probably looking at the answers. I, I put the no, he probably answer. well, he I, would. He's a little cheating. I promise you I didn't. Scandalous. All right. <sighs> All right. All right. Dude, I'm not feeling good about this, but that's okay. We're going to roll with it. How many questions you got? 30. <laughs> 30? <laughs> my next got a five five question. All right, dude. Oh, my God. This is the start of the shocking questions with Adam Buzzer. Hey, get your phone and set like a uh, frontal camera. Frontal, a frontal camera? Full frontal. Why do I do that? So we can have a view of our am i i'm just gonna hold this i'm assuming actually you know what i'm gonna put it right here filming all right 
All right, Vaughn, this is this first question is for you, and I alluded to it earlier. Oh my gosh. So, uh, since you're a big uh, social media aficionado, yes. mm-hmm. uh, there's, a, there's a song going around right now on a lot of in- Instagram reels. And uh, I'll read off a few lyrics and you can tell me what it's referring to. Mm, great. A big lump with knobs, it has the juice. Uh, it has the juice. I can't imagine a more beautiful thing. It's blank. So I have to say what it's referencing? Yeah. I don't... A frog. Oh! (laughs) How'd that feel? Oh, it felt great. Oh, yeah. What level was that? Huh? What level was that? I'm not saying... Okay, good. That's right. Two. We're only going up from there. <laughs> All right, Dale. Yep, let's go, baby. Which American state is the largest by area? Hmm. Uh, I want to say Texas. Oh, Vaughn, your answer was corn, actually. Corn? Yeah, corn. F- frog, corn, both four letters. Good try. All right, so Dale, your answer is that your final answer? Texas? No, because I think it's Alaska. Is it Texas or Alaska? Alaska. Ooh, you're safe. Yes! Dude, yeah. I, I thought you were going to get shocked. I know. I should have just, I just, just hit the button yeah. right off the bat. No, I, I, I'm like, I knew that it was... I know you should have shocked me, but it's all good. All right, Vaughn. What is the name of the song that Queen Elsa sings as she builds her ice castle in the movie Frozen? You'll never get this. Let it go? Nope. Ding, ding, ding. Need to put a... uh, I got it right. Yeah, you got it right. Yeah. Oh, that was too easy. I thought it was a different song. It was easy, but you said I I got it wrong. I gave it to Dale then. Because I knew that... I thought it was that other song. All right. So, uh, Lord of the Rings just had a new... uh, Oh, crap. I never watched this show. Series or whatever come out on Amazon Prime, I believe. How many Lord of the Rings films are there? Oh, this is for you, Dale. Three. Dang. He's two for two. Three. That's right. That was right. Oh Dude. my God. I'm you, a Lord of the Rings. I'm like Gandalf. <laughs> You're like R2D2. I'm glad we pre screened these questions. Buzz. I guarantee you <laughs> did. So this thing. It's like, like I knew. I promise you we did. Oh, all right. All right. Because I wanted to get zapped. Vaughn. Mm. What gets wetter the more it dries? What gets wetter the more it dries? I know this one. Water. Is that your final answer? Oh, I would say that. Yes, it's brown. The answer is a towel. Oh, my God. Um, What are we doing? Okay. Dale, when Michael Jordan played for the Chicago Bulls, how many NBA championships did he win? This is is rigged. (laughs) Why? Because you get all the easy ones. Why? Because you're about to answer this one. Six. That's right. Man, Dale. Dude, that was just got I'm just destined to win. Straight. It's not the most, though. Come on. Bill Russell has eight. Bill Russell. All right, here we go. Here's a good one. In 1992, what was the president's name? In 1992, um, the president's name. John Adams. 92 was... Uh, Don't think too much sen- It was uh, George Sr. <laughs> Is that your final answer? Yes. I just asked, in 1992, what was the president's name? 1992, what was the president's name? It's George Sr., G- George Bush Sr., right? We're asking the president of Def Jam. Is that your final answer? <laughs> the president of the United States in yeah. 1992? Yeah. Why are you making me second guess the, the, the right answer? Because <laughs> what he does. Yeah, George, George, Bo- George. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my God. <laughs> Who is it? In 1992, the was president. It, it Bill Clinton? No, Joe Biden is the president right now. And his name in 1992 was still Joe Biden. Oh, come on. That's a. Y'all. This is rigged. I didn't have nothing to do with this. You did. You did. The president's name it was Joe Biden in 1992. Bros, bros before hoes. I can tell. <laughs> I've been. Sh- <laughs> it's shockingly obvious. All right, Dale. I got one for you. Uh, Dude, you know what? I know, I know stuff. No, you, you, okay. I have many leather bound books. Oh, I don't bet. <laughs> oh, why did you do that? I don't know. All right. Holy cow. I just seen that number. <laughs> Son of a bitch. All right, let's go. <laughs> Dale, what word would you use to describe a man who does not have all his fingers on one hand? Uh, Something digitless. I don't know. Just, <laughs> digitless. Just, just zap me, Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Dude. Oh, God. Oh, I was not ready for that. Oh. <laughs> the answer oh. is normal. Because no one has all of their fingers on the one hand. Oh, oh dude. Only half of your this fingers is, on one hand. This is a tricky, tricky buzz. <laughs> this is <laughs> dude, scared me. Dude. What level was that? No. I told you I'm not answering. That, we that can't question. go that high. We'll die. It was seven. Go to eight. <laughs> we'll no, 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 no. We can't. Don't. Don't. Go to vinyl to nine. This, okay, good. This but is. You're, you're up. Oh, my gosh. I do not want nine. Oh, God. That scared the crap out of me. Who played Wolverine? Oh. In 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 the movie. Don't quit asking questions. Okay. Um his name is uh, I can see his face. That doesn't help. Oh my gosh. What is his name? Where's, um, where's the cricket button? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Norm MacDonald, dude. Easy. Dude, it, it looks like Norm <laughs> MacDonald. Um oh. <laughs> 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 Uh, I'm gonna have to take it, Gerard Butler. Nope. Dale, do you know the answer? He jacked my buzzing toys. Oh, he buzzed <laughs> oh, my bad. Oh, 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 dude. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> Turn it down. Oh, no, that's perfect. I scared the crap out of <laughs> God. Oh, uh, my neck's still tingling. Oh, my gosh. Oh, <laughs> dude. Oh, God. Uh, what? It's, he didn't mean to do me shit. <laughs> Tell me good. <laughs> I know I'm gizzard. <laughs> oh. Dude, I said buzz him twice. He got me. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> turn, turn it down. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh man! Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! Oh god! All right, we're done with questions. Which uh, no. which Williams sister has won more Grand Slam titles? Fifty fifty shot. Serena. Do you have an answer? Oh, no, well, he's it's his it's his question. Yeah, but I got zapping. You got it wrong. It's a fifty fifty shot. He's picking Venus. All right, so in the mood, okay, I've got to think this one out. Who has more Grand Slam titles? Serena. It's Serena. Serena, just Serena. To- yeah, it's Serena. That's the correct answer. She's the better tennis player. Yeah. All right. I'm going to get shocked. Don't speak so soon. Let me see the, let me see the controller for a minute. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh-uh. Oh, Vaughn. Uh oh. How can a man go eight days without sleep? Well, he could be dead. Is that your final answer? I, I mean, I'm assuming I'm getting shocked no matter what. <laughs> but <laughs> Yeah, that's my final answer. All right. So how can a man go eight days without sleep? Can a, how can a man go eight days without sleep? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's that easy. Just answer it. Just, he could just stay awake for eight days. Is that your final answer? I had two final answers. Okay. Both of those are going to be both. Oh, <laughs> God dang! 
<laughs> All you have to do is just sleep during nighttime. Oh my oh. gosh. <laughs> God. <laughs> you have a camera stuff for you? Yes. Okay, good. That was a good one. Uh, <laughs> what happened? What happened? There's sweat pouring out of my right <laughs> armpit right now. Like pour it's dripping down my body. Oh my lord. You should wear an undershirt. No. Right, let's go, Buzz. All right. If yep. a plane crashes on the border. Between the United States and Canada, where do they bury the survivors? You're a survivor, so you don't get buried. I knew you. Good answer. I asked Bronson that the other day. Easiest one. <laughs> the mine's going to be. <laughs> oh, yeah. They, they, he's asking me the same kind of questions. I would have slept at night, too. <sighs> yeah, right. So. Yeah. What will you actually find at the end of every rainbow? Oh, this is Dale's question. Yes, me. This is for Vaughn. Oh, well, how do I get two in a row? Because I just chose to go easy on you on that one. Um, what do you find at the end of rain- like at every the- rainbow? So the, answer. the scientific answer is there's actually no end to a rainbow. That's the real answer. So you wouldn't find anything. Well, there's a pot of gold. Is That's- that your final answer? Yeah. All right. The answer is. A W. Oh, God <laughs> oh, I cannot wait for you to get one wrong. Dude, let's go. Dale, uh, how can you can how can a girl go twenty five days without sleep? How can I go? only sleep at night? Oh, that's the right answer. Yeah. <laughs> it's not rigged, and, and it's not it's not rigged. See, man, I, I answered the, the riddle. You did. You answered the riddle that I already answered, but with a girl instead of a guy in eight days instead of twenty five. Come oh, on, yes. oh. you spot a boat full of people, but there isn't a single person on board. How is that possible? Spot a boat full of people, not a single person on board. Oh, I know that one. You spot a boat. It's a riddle. Yeah. You spot a boat full of people, not a single person on board. Can I answer it for him to zap him? D- d- I know you went up on it. Oh, gosh. Um, Can I answer it? Well, I mean, I have to answer it. Okay. I- I, I mean, and I don't want to take a whole long time. I just want, kind of want to get it over with. Because they're married. What? No. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> and that was the correct answer. They're all married. Dude, that's just There's a not a single person oh, on board. That is the stupidest <laughs> thing in the Dude, world. God. I'm not the smartest person. I'm getting all these right. No, yeah, that's because you read comics on Sunday morning. <laughs> and I'm, I actually read books, real books. Real books. <laughs> All right, Dale. Okay. This is for someone with great hair. How could a man go outside in the pouring rain without protection and not have a hair on his head get wet? How can a guy go out without protection and not have a single hair on his head get wet? Yep. He's bald? Dang. I know. Yeah. got it. Yeah. It's because it's easy. That's like four-year-olds. Just call me the Riddler. Yeah. <laughs> hey, just zap me once. Huh? Zap Don't do once. it. All right, Adele, I'll give you another one. Mm-hmm. Okay. What has a head and a tail but no body? Head? A coin. Man, Dale knows all these riddles. I know, he does. Dude, I'm a simple-minded guy. Especially because he was given to him last night. No, I promise you. I just think different than you. You're thinking way too... I think like a moron. Dale, if there are 12 fish and half of them drown, how many are there? 12. I mean, that's, that's fish, right fish don't drown. Exactly. Well, they're still there. You can't, yeah. you can't stump Dale. You can't. No. Stump, you can't stump the Schwab. No. Jeez. It's because Dale doesn't overthink it. Uh, okay, I'm going to stop overthinking. I that. don't think much. All right, I Ron, if, you, if you have a bowl with six apples... And you take away four, how many do you have? 
If you have a bowl with six apples and you take away four. If you have a bowl with six apples and you take away four, how many do you have? I know this one. <laughs> Dude. Two. <laughs> no, you have four. You took them away. You took the four. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you took four. I don't get it. Oh my God. Dale, what belongs to you but gets used by everyone else more than you? Belongs to me but get used. Do what now? What belongs to you but gets used by everyone else more than you? Oxygen. Nope. Your name. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, 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 holy crap. Oh, do it again. Oh, We're out of question. Oh, oh, what level was that one? That one felt good. <laughs> oh, no. We're out of questions. Oh, man. Are you are you all done? Oh, can we do okay? One last one final last question. question each, and don't okay. and we don't need to turn it up or anything. And if I get it right, he gets zapped. No, yes, no, that's not. And if you get it right, I get zapped. If we both get it wrong, we both get zapped seven times. No, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right. What can you hold without touching it at all? What can you hold without touching it all? Yeah, just do it. Just zap him. Uh, no, I mean... I, I, um, I don't know. It goes that high. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't know why we trust this guy. Uh, what can you hold without touching it at all? Um, <clears throat> I thought it only went to 10. Y- yourself. The answer? Dale, you can save him. What can you hold... Without touching it at all. Your breath. Is that right? The answer is. <laughs> oh my God. Holy shit. Dude, I got brain damage. I got brain damage. A conversation. Oh, 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 oh my God. Dude. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, that would hurt. Dude. That would hurt. I think I beat myself. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh that god. would hurt. Oh, that would oh, hurt. dude, I can't see. <laughs> we're, we're at twenty minutes. Okay. Uh, what we- ha- what has a face and two? What has a face and two hands but no arms or legs? Face, but two hands. What say again? A face and two hands but no arms or legs. Face, two hands, no arms and legs. Man, I think you should sit Vaughn while I think about it. No, no, no. no, 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 no you don't need to do that. No, <laughs> right. I'm totally good. Yeah. Three, uh, three questions. Three <clears throat> seconds. I don't know. I, and I have to answer to save you. Can you, you can save try. him? Um, uh, I don't oh, clock. <laughs> Why did I get shot? Because you didn't answer it right. Dale just answered it still, right. He got longer he, to think. He couldn't uh, save me. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, God. We're done? Uh, All right, we got to be done. We're done. Okay. We've been 20 minutes at it. Oh. For the content, <laughs> baby. Uh, All right. Well, that just wrapped up. T- I didn't. Oh, oh. I, I only thought this went up to ten, but apparently it goes. Dude, up to you like went to sixteen. Sixteen. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> oh, hey, my video is gonna be like Blair Witch Project. All I'm right. This whole <laughs> well, thank y'all for tuning in to the Dale Not Dale podcast. Uh, Thanks, Adam, for showing up. It no, was a shockingly good time. We still got one more thing to do, real quick. We do. We do. Dude, that was a. Uh, you didn't know that good at riddles, did you? No. Well, it's because all he, that's all he does. <laughs> <laughs> that's just all he does. My new nickname is the Riddler. Yeah, the Riddler. 
Dude, I'm kind of. You know what? You, you can't overthink those kind of questions. And you do a good job at not overthinking. That. I don't think about anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess. Oh man, that was fun, <laughs> dude. That was those last few were brutal. Oh my god! I want to see how high I can go up with it. No, let's let's do that after the podcast. All right. So last part, Buzz. Um, we forgot to do this with Kiki last week, but to do the who's right. your not you. Oh yeah. So. I thought it was going to be, am I smarter than Kiki? <laughs> I got, I think you're all right. Yeah, you'll be all right. But, uh, yeah, so for me, I was like, only one that came to mind that I knew that, hell, the kids even thought it was you one time on TV was Wes Welker. That's the one I came up with. You kind of do look like Wes Welker. He does. Especially, like, I think years ago, more so. And then, uh, so what? what do you get a lot of? Uh, oh yeah, that's what he's looking at. Jason Statham. Nope. Sean McVay. Sean McVay. That's that. Oh, line. he does. Yeah, the, the coach for the, for no, the Rams. No, the Rams. yeah, last yeah. couple of years because he's been everybody, super popular. Everybody yeah. sends me messages. You kind of do look like Sean. McVay. No, he does. That's that's the one. I, yeah. It was football. It was him. I I thought Julian Edelman before. It was like they're, they're both receivers for the Patriots. But yeah, Sean McVay. As of late, I think that's the one. And for sure, Andy Dick. <laughs> Andy Dick was our yeah. stretch one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's funny? I have this celebrity like look alike that you I drop a picture in it. Yeah. Then it just puts it, it actually does pretty good. Uh-huh. And uh the top four on every one of them, they had Seth Rogan and Andy Dick. <laughs> for mine? For you, yeah. <laughs> it's like 30%. Yeah. Mine was like some guy like oh some I don't know. Mine was like the guy from MacGyver and <laughs> somebody else. Yeah, mine was Tina Turner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Andy Dick one was funny. <laughs> Oh, awesome. man. Well, that's it. And see, yeah. that was funny. That was funny. That really did hurt. Yes, it doesn't not it doesn't hurt. It hurt. It just scares the crowd. <laughs> Especially when he got it t- wrong and I got shocked. <laughs> He's like, he forgot to you talk. Deserve, forgot you deserved to, it. He forgot, forgot to toggle. To switch it. You deserved it. Oh, man. I was losing track of what number it was who. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you did that on me. Yeah. It was actually, I wanted to get that morning. I, I kind of, I wanted, I was going to start getting them wrong, but I want to show how smart I am at riddles. So I kept getting them right. Yeah. And next time we'll do like not riddles. Yeah. Anything but riddles. Okay. So like actual facts. <clears throat> yeah. Exactly. Okay. So we're doing this. What'd you, what level did you get up to this time? Uh, like 15. Okay. So next time Buzz is on, we're going to start at 15 and go from there. No, yeah, oh, yeah, we're not. Going to. <laughs> <Yes>. No, <laughs> no, we're not going to. <laughs> His face. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that was fun. I think got my carotid arteries crushed. Oh man, that was a good time. <laughs> well, like I said, man, we appreciate you coming on. Absolutely, being the executive producer of our show. Yes, yeah, yeah. fun. Number one podcast. Audio Jesus, we call him. Audio Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, the man with the plan. Yeah. I mean, it's a little different change of pace and I'm sure, uh, you know, luckily he's my brother-in-law. So if he didn't know me, he's like, I'm not agreeing to any of this crap. Y'all, <laughs> y'all want to do <laughs> this is, Just show up and shock us both. Yeah, yeah. No kidding. Uh, this is going to be some, this is going to be funny though, especially with the Jason, a good idea. The, Cause I'm telling you my, my phone is like, mm-hmm. Oh God. Mm-hmm. Especially when I got hit out of nowhere. Holy cow. So, yeah, why are you crying, dude? <laughs> Something's wrong. I got I got my throat shocked. Uh, I'm like crying. I know, dude. <laughs> oh, I've been damaged. It's got welts well, on good. his neck. This uh, we'll wrap up. We'll wrap up now. But uh, yeah, thanks for coming on, Buzz. Absolutely, thank you. It was a shocking good time. It was shockingly. It was <laughs> for sure. So. Uh, thank y'all for tuning into the dale not dale podcast i appreciate it yep sponsored by media by bison and bison products yes sir peace